Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm doing another solo movie reaction today and this is for a very highly requested movie on this channel recently, John Q. So we've been watching a lot of Denzel Washington movies lately and I have been really enjoying them. I really love him as an actor. I love seeing him act. He's just so incredible and a lot of people said this was another great movie of his. I have no idea what it's about so we're just gonna go ahead and get on into it. going on with this car so she's just oh my goodness why are you driving so crazy why are you in a rush for like what are you don't do something dumb I don't know why I'm like getting nervous about this a little bit it's like she's driving fast and crazy like she's in a rush but she doesn't look like she's in a rush <gasps> oh my goodness you better get over what the heck? <gasps> what? I don't understand why that happened. Like, why would she even do that? What? What the heck? Why are you driving so recklessly in the first place? Oh, I don't understand why she was doing like, why were you doing that? Hey! Hey! Oh, he's getting towed. Them to throw us out on the street. I'm down to 20 hours at the plant. They're shipping off all the damn jobs to Mexico. You tell me, what do you want me to do? John, my car is gone. Hmm. So they're struggling right now. And the car is still ours. We own it. I just gotta wait for my next check to come in. In two weeks, we'll be fine. He has a pretty positive attitude about it. Something like that. You know what I do? I get so big and mad, I just go crazy and kick some. No. <laughs> well, this isn't the equalizer. <laughs> Time to run to work. I mean, they seem like they have, like, a, a good relationship, a good family. They just went through something really hard and, like, look at them, you know? I feel like that's nice, like... <laughs> Honey? Honey. So how was the lady at the beginning gonna connect? Because that was very random. What'd you say? What'd I, you say? Sa I said... Dashboard. Now. <laughs> <laughs> They're cute. I, I hate goodbye. Remember, see you later. Because <laughs> he's obsessed with bodybuilders. Body fat. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun to see Denzel Washington playing a role like this. Take my climbing whip. I do, don't I? You do. Yeah. <laughs> this is almost like the game they're playing in the car. <laughs> yeah. Come on, all right. All right. He seems like he just has like a really positive, you know, happy outlook, which is nice, you know, regardless of everything. Well, your resume is very impressive. You certainly got the experience. Frankly, you may be overqualified. Oh, oh, that sounds like a no. Over overqualified. I mean, that happens, you know. But it's like, dang, I'm overqualified. What the heck? What if I need the job? Then I should be extra good at it, right? I still can't get over how wholesome this is so far. Like, just a nice family and. Oh, the pitcher! Oh my gosh, she's like yelling at a kid. <laughs> I mean, like, is he gonna be okay? What the heck? He's gonna be all right, isn't he? Oh, that poor kid! Like, what? No. 
Oh, I can't even imagine. I just. We're going to be admitting your son, okay. and you need to fill out the proper Mike, forms. What kind of form? Look, it's possible your son may need a blood oh transfusion. Oh my goodness! Die. Like this is all happening so fast. It's coming right back. Oh, wait a minute. I feel like John still is, a, you know, I mean, obviously he's worried. I get it, but he's like handling things, you know, like he's able to keep his composure and. Oh, that's so sad. Like, he was just playing baseball one second, and then, like, what even happened to him? Why, what would that mean if, if he went below 70 again? 70 and below is an heart failure. Oh, my goodness. What even, like, what even happened, though? Okay, how do you do? Good. My okay. wife? Hello. Yeah. How's our boy doing? Please sit down. Oh, no. That sounds bad. Well, we're... Considerably beyond corrective surgery, Mr. <gasps> Mrs. Archibald. Mike's what? heart is useless. Arch oh my. Oh. Oh. I feel so bad for them. Medicate him. Make him feel as comfortable as possible. You're going to have to start thinking about quality of. Oh my. Like, meaning, like, he could just die? I'm just with him, and he seemed oh. Oh. fine. I just, I can't even believe this. Like, I just can't even imagine. <sighs> like, they were just having a normal life and... It's difficult, but you have to face the fact that your son may not live much longer. You might want to make it a happy... What? Life. Well, what, can we go back to the transplant option? Like, we didn't even talk about the transplant. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like it all just happened so fast, like... Oh my gosh. I feel like this movie is gonna be like a tough movie. Oh, obviously, like. If he was your son, what would you do? And he still is just, you know. I did the transplant, absolutely. <sighs> like, he's so just calm, cool, and collected. You know, he's able to just. Major medical. So, are they gonna say it's Major not covered? Master. There are no provisions in your policy for a procedure. Of oh my gosh! It's almost like, like, what's the point of being insured if it doesn't cover things that need insurance? Oh my gosh, they're not going to be able to afford it, are they? Like, insurance. That may very well be, Mr. Archibald. You're going to have to check with your carrier on that. In the meantime, I'm afraid we're going to have to treat this as a cash account. Oh my god, they're going to make it, then pay for it up front. What my son's Our name Our son is upstairs dying, and all you can do is sit here. Exactly, like you just told him them, like he only has. Expensive for you, it's expensive for us. Now, I do not like your attitude. I have to guarantee payment before I can put your son's name on the list. Oh my gosh. Like, they literally just told them he was gonna die soon, and you're like, oh, but you can't afford it. Insurance company again. You check with our human resources department for medical assistance. There's money there. Now, there's children's state services, and there's Medicaid. Okay. Payout limit of $20,000. What? I mean, I mean, you guys been taking money out of my check every week. But yet they changed it. That's why we're gonna cover you for the full 20. Oh, thanks. You're telling me that I'm not fully covered? Even though I got a policy that says I am? I understand that. Uh, but there's nothing I can do. Oh my gosh, it's just like, oh, how awful. Like, just, hmm, man, I feel so bad for him. And I feel like a lot of people do end up in situations like this, you know? It's just sad. Welfare. Welfare, we both have jobs. That's too bad. I'm sorry. I oh my gosh, they just keep getting told no for everything. And I can't even, like, trying to worry about paying when they should be spending time with their son. You know? Like, what if it doesn't work out and they didn't get to spend any time with him? I mean, obviously, they're gonna do everything in their power to help him, but it's still just so sad that this is what they're having to worry about and what they're having to do. Way in lines and against the raging tide, making me it's just so sad. Just as of the heart, here just for me. Approved? That's good, right? Oh my gosh, finally something. This is an appeal. 
An appeal what? is for an already existing claim. What you needed to file was a grievance. You filed the wrong. Oh my. It could take up to 30 days. Look, I don't have 30 days. Oh my gosh. Your account is in excess of $30,000. The hospital has been over backwards to help you out. Man. The fact that he's able to like keep his composure, it's just wow. Oh, they're just, you know, selling everything, getting rid of everything. <gasps> oh, it just like keeps getting lower and lower. Send donations, write your congress and things like anything that. Anything you can do, Mr. Lampley, would help anything. I think what's happening to your son is outrageous and I want to help him. But I got to run this by my producers. Are they going to say no? Why do I feel like... Why do I feel like they're gonna say no? Too bad, like, GoFundMe and stuff wasn't around at this time. Dr. Turner just left here, and they are releasing Wait. Mike this morning. Already? Oh my gosh. Like, they're literally just sending him home to die. Please take care of everything. I will. But it's never enough, is it? I'll, now you need to do I'll something. Do you hear me? Do something. Oh my goodness. Oh. In his room. I mean, what is he gonna do? What else can he do? Like, there has to be something, right? Decision rests with the board, not me. That's it. Send him home. I'm afraid so. Hey, can we uh, take a little walk? I mean, I also feel like you can't fully blame the doctor. I mean, I'm sure he could try to advocate as best as possible, but it's like the hospital is gonna be the one, you know? My fee in your son's hey, case. I'm not asking you. I know you're not asking. Nobody me. asked you to waive the fee, okay? Because I can raise the money. I, I can come up with the money. I already came up with twenty-two thousand dollars. Wow. He just wants to do it now, and I'll pay you back. I was on the job. You understand? I, understand. I can do this. I can pay. Oh. I swear to God, I'll pay you the money back. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I promise you, I. Oh. Could you take your hands off? Oh my gosh. What's going on? <sighs> oh. oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Whoa. Um, okay. Oh my gosh, I did not expect that. Whoa. Put him up. Put him up. Yeah, give me a gun. I don't have a gun. They don't have guns. They're not armed. Okay. Oh, wow. It's just, he was just so desperate. He's just doing everything for his son, you know? Because he, wow. Just do as he says. You please back up. What are you doing? I'm taking your advice. I'm not taking no for an answer. Back up. Oh, he is not taking no for an answer. Wow. Mr. Archibald, these people have nothing to do with this. You have got to let them go. They need treatment. Yeah, well, this is a hospital. You're a doctor. Why don't you treat them? Start with. Wow. I didn't expect this to turn into like a hostage type criminal situation. You got keys for that elevator? Yeah. Okay. I want you to kill the power. Turn it over. And also, I feel like he knew the risks he was taking doing this. Like, okay, yeah, I could obviously go to prison for the rest of my life, but, you know, he's doing it for his son. He tried everything, and he just he wanted to get it done. It's hard to blame him in this situation, you know? Like, it's really difficult to, to feel like he's... I mean, obviously, he's doing things illegal and criminal. I understand that it's an emergency, man, but um, have you tried Mount Angel? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, he's gonna help because it's like you know how could you do all this and not help somebody else? Okay, all right, I'll get you. Don't have it. Oh, oh you can't just say don't have it. Just stay in the seat. Oh. I mean, he kind of took control of this situation, but now he's having to help a bunch of other people when wasn't the point for him to help his son. So, like, when is he gonna get to the son? He's like doing all this, but he's still helping everybody else too because, you know, he knows how it feels. Oh. Now, Dr. Turner, we're gonna need your hand on this one. Oh, man. 
He was just like, I just bought this suit. Like, wouldn't your first concern be this person who's shot? I can't handle this. This is a gut shot. I'm a cardiac surgeon. I'm not an emergency room physician. It's like well, you're the most qualified here, so... Okay, so someone finally called the police. Was he waiting for this? I think my fiance might have broken her arm. I was wondering if we could get some. Why does she seem so chill? Frank ran a red ran light. Ran a red light. He slammed into us. Right? Yep. It was an accident. Yes, it was. Mm hmm. Why do I feel like he hit her or something? Exactly. Is it that you want? You find Rebecca Payne. Mmm. Tell her I want my kid's name on the donor's list. You got that? My kid's name on the donor's list. Kid, boy, or girl? A boy. Is this gonna work though, you know? I mean, he's just so desperate though. So he's just trying, trying what he can do, but I don't know if that would just work. That would kind of suck to just have, try and be going to the hospital and like it, it's taken under hostage and all your procedures have to be kind of, you know, <laughs> worked around different ways. She's from the slapper whole tribe. Mm. You like to beat on that young lady, right? That's what I thought. I'm smoking. You're literally in a hospital. She doesn't even know what's going on. I don't know if I should let him in or not. It, what do you think? Yeah, he's okay. He's okay? So he wanted to hang out with you. This is like the nicest dog. I don't know if he's a doctor or a nurse, but he's like the nicest one so far here, it seems. Let me hold my baby! Let me hold my baby! Oh my gosh. Listen, put that stuff back before you. Why would you do it and smell it? All right? I have a life. It means something to me. I'm not going down in this shithole. No, sir. What if he ends up shooting him or something? I feel like he has a, like, a different plan. Like, is he trying to keep his son in the hospital, potentially? Like, you know? Because I don't know if he would just assume that they would just give him exactly what he wanted. Because, you know, when they negotiate, sometimes they tell you what you want to hear, but just to save the hostages. Besides, I gotta be here. Police chief doesn't show up. Looks like he's asleep at the wheel. Well, just mm. stay out of my way. The TV cameras are over there. Should make you feel, you know, right at home. I feel like there's a, a big theme of people who are just kind of almost complacent at their job. I don't know if that's the right word, but just kind of like go through the motions. Just don't really actually care about what they're doing. No, we got it. Okay, I got it. Oh yeah. Yo, man, looking for his depends. Do you leave him over here? <laughs> like, he's just laughing and joking when there's literal hostages inside, you know? Let's say Mike didn't need additional testing, and insurance says they won't cover them. The doctor keeps his mouth shut, and come Christmas, the HMO sends the doctor a fat-ass bonus. Because mm, it's all about money. What are you talking about? What about that thing that you guys take? The thing? Yeah, that promise. What are they called? The oath, yeah. Exactly how it works. Maybe not up there on the fifth floor, but in here, if you don't have any money, you get a band-aid, a foot in the ass, and you're out the door. I need to talk to you. Yeah. This woman is six centimeters dilated and the baby is breached. I've John. medicated her, but we have to move her up to maternity immediately. You gonna let her go? Right down here. Oh, and here she is. His name is John Archibald. He has a son here in ICU. Put people on the door. Find the mother I need to talk to, okay? Oh, the mom, the mom, the wife! You got one hour. You got till 5.15. You understand, Frank? If my boy's not on that list by 5.15, you gonna... somebody in here's gonna die. <gasps> for real? One, five, something happens for me. Got it. Whoa. Call the coroner. Is he being serious, though? Just go. Shit, I'll go. I'm free. Baby, baby, no. What kind of man are you, huh? Mm -hmm. Screw you, Tyrone. What? Screw me, Tyrone. Oh, whoa. <gasps> oh, no! Oh! Yeah, that's right. Oh my gosh! baby, get the gun! Come on, Cooley! Shoot it right in the face! Oh! What is she about to do? Oh, the spray! Oh, whoa! Bats, you got cuffs? Yeah. Wow! You stupid bitch! Who? The 
rest of them are laughing. Thanks for calling me a Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, everybody's laughing. Kind of sucks for her, the timing of it all. Like, she just came in to have a baby and then she got stuck in this position. Oh, he was letting them... Letting them all go. Aww. by members of the crisis team. Will the man known as John Q get a heart for his little boy? Only time will tell. Oh, but you know what? Now he's talking about him on the news. Like, it was a big story. Right. Oh, yeah, I feel good. We're having a baby. I'm going to put it Ma'am, do you have any comments about the government? I'm cool. Very good, man. Oh, they're talking good about him. <laughs> I don't believe it. They're watching a video feed. How do you know that? Well, they're looking at something, Freddie, and I want to know what it is. He wants the scoop. Watch, is this going to, like, he wanted to be on TV and kind of make, like, a spectacle to get donations? Why don't we just tell him his son's name <sighs> on the list? I mean, doesn't that make sense? How's he gonna know anybody? Aww. See, that's what I was thinking they were gonna try to do was just lie to him, you know, just to get it to get it resolved or whatever. Because that's what you're telling the cops. If your son doesn't get the very first heart available, we all die. I got no moves. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm. You just like winging it as you go. Oh wait! Oh my gosh! She's gonna be the heart, isn't it? It's gonna be her heart! That's what this is, isn't it? Oh my goodness, that's what's gonna happen, I think. From the beginning, the lady from the beginning! Told him to do something, anything. But I never I thought... I understand. Well, you see a violent man, Mrs. Archibald? Not at all. But he was just in a... He was backed into a corner and he wanted to save his son! I've decided to put Michael's name on the recipient list. Mm. The hospital will pay for everything. But isn't this just what they said they're just gonna tell them, though? Like, it's not actually happening? Oh, God. Thank you. Because if that were the case, then that is so sad. Like, the false hope. But are they really doing it, though? A minute, I actually believe you care. I want to take that as... It's not actually happening. You could look into the camera and speak to John Q right now. What would you say to him? I'm there with you and you take care. Oh, wow. Well, his friend, he was like a ride or die. Like I said, it's just so hard to feel, you know, like against him in this situation because you saw everything he went through and people do anything for their kids. So it's hard to, to not feel sympathy for him in this situation. And just like, you know, he was doing whatever he could, whatever he possibly could. I feel like this movie is reminding me of Law Abiding Citizen, kind of where you're like, in a sense, rooting for whoever's supposed to be the bad guy. But I mean, I feel like it's pretty obvious that John Q isn't really necessarily like the bad guy in this movie. Right? And if we give in to this asshole, it's also bad. Bad for who? It's bad for everybody, Frank, me, you, everybody. It's an election year. Oh my gosh, so it's still just about themselves. You know what, Frank? You're out. I'm out. No hard feelings, but you're officially relieved of duty. Oh my goodness. I feel like there's so many frustrating people in this movie. Someone's got to make the call. You're not going to do it, are you? Wow. I'll do it. But what about the hostages? The human beings? Better keep their heads down. Oh my goodness. I got a contact in cardiology. The cops are going to set up a phone call between this guy and his wife. Are they going to, like, air that whole phone call? All right. Let's patch it through. It seems like everybody's just trying to use the situation for their own personal advantage. When at the heart of the situation, it all started because of his son. Your Mikey's name is on the list, baby. You did it. We were, we were on the list. Oh my gosh. And the, but the, he's not really, and they're just using it. It's just like, how can you hear that and not feel sad about it, you know? I'm praying, sweetheart, you know I am. Check me. 
Uh, I hope they don't shoot him. Oh my goodness. Is he, is he awake? Is Mikey awake? Can I talk to him? I mean, so this is broadcasting, right? Champ. Why do I feel like they're gonna kill him? Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, they're gonna do it, aren't they? They're gonna shoot him. Okay. Don't do it while he's on the phone. Oh my goodness. Hey, what would what, what what good would the world be without you? Are they gonna shoot him on live TV? They're gonna shoot him. They're gonna freaking shoot him. Listen to me. I'm your command. Oh my god. They're gonna shoot him. They're gonna shoot him. Proud I am of you. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you know that. <laughs> In case I forgot. Oh, she feels something finally. Not clear. Go behind the wall. Just go behind the wall. You on TV, man. Channel 8. Is he gonna shoot? <gasps> oh, he missed! Oh no! Oh, he hit his arm! Oh no, he did! He hit his arm! Oh my gosh, no! Oh no! He's done. But it was just his arm, he's still- He's not down. He's gonna shoot him back, isn't he? <gasps> oh my gosh. And we better kill this video feed, the press act into our signal, and this whole thing just went out live over national television. Mm-hmm. Everybody saw it. Everybody saw his phone call with the son and then him getting immediately shot right after. Mike is not gonna make it. Okay, so he's gonna be okay. Alrighty. I figured he would be okay because it was just in the arm. Are you gonna bust me? Out of here. Get real. You just shot an innocent man on primetime TV. Wow. I mean, he's getting the public support. Oh, look, there he is. But you know what? The news guy, even though he wanted to like further his career with it, he did end up helping him out. Alright, let's go see what he wants. You gotta be Look, kidding. Come on, don't start breaking my balls, okay? I screwed up. Obviously. A-R-C-H-I. Is she actually gonna try to do something? Because you want me dead, no. don't Nobody wants to kill you, John. Nobody wants to kill you. Nobody wants to kill me. But he just got shot, so what are you supposed to think? Jail or dead? My son is very sick. All he wants to do is help his son. He was really willing to risk anything for it. Help! Sick! Help! I am not gonna bury my oh son! Oh my gosh. My son is gonna bury me. Oh. Think these people give a shit about you? They don't. You're just the cause of the moment. Nobody cares, John. That's the real- Oh, I don't think that's true. That's not true. What do you think, Frank? They're gonna do it. It's your call, Frank. Yeah. And with the public pressure too, you know? Oh, okay, okay. I feel like he's gonna get a, get the heart transplant somehow, right? Like probably from the woman in the car. I just, it feels like that's the way it's gonna go. And the hostages inside are just supporting him. <laughs> Mike's blood pressure has dropped into the mid 40s. His atrial blood pressure should be in the low teens. It's 35. I'm sorry, Tom. Oh my gosh. Take my <gasps> What? Oh my gosh. Take my heart and you put it in my Oh man, you done lost your damn mind. You can't be serious. You bet I'm serious. Oh my god. I'm gosh. dead serious. Oh my god. Wow. Man, that means you'll be dead. And he my son will live. John, you can't do this. Understand? Physically, you can't do this. Yes, I can. I kill myself. Oh, oh my god. You open me up, you take my heart. Man, it's just oh crazy. my gosh. He just loves his son so much. You know, just. What do you think Mike would want? What about your wife? Mike's too young to know what's good for him. I'm his father. <sighs> it's my job to protect him. Besides, Denise would do the same oh. thing. John, look. 
I know what's happening to Mike is bad, man. But killing yourself ain't gonna solve a damn thing. Sometimes you just gotta let go and let God just be so it's just like the fact that he was willing to do that, you know? It's just... I still feel like it's gonna be the lady, though. It's not gonna be you, but oh my gosh, he loves his son what? so much. That Mike is going to die. No. No, I don't accept that. Ever. <sighs> You'd like him, Doc. Oh my God, no. I do like All him. All right, then, please. I'm just begging you. Step outside this. I'd room. like to, John. I really would. It is completely unethical so what it, I'm, I'm not i'm crossing the line you're crossing the line the whole damn system crossing the line well, all right i don't oh give no. a damn my son's gonna live maybe you guys haven't figured that out by now i'll do whatever i gotta do for him to live so what are you gonna do i mean yeah he's shown that that he will shoot me if i don't operate <gasps> oh my gosh system. oh my gosh is he really i mean that's what this is all about right he needs a donor somebody's got oh, it's the lady it's the lady live. i'm his father <gasps> it's me don't do it All right. <gasps> right? Really? Wait, what? I'll do it if that's what you want. You cannot just throw your entire your life away from Not this for nothing, moment. doctor, but if you do this, you're finished. What are they gonna do, sue me? Disbar me? No, this is still a hospital. If there's a heart available, then we're not gonna let it go to waste. Wow. Doctor, oh my gosh. Surgery. Oh my goodness. But no, there's gonna be some, something else. Like, he's not just gonna do it. Like, why show all the... The car accident and everything, like, no way. Oh my gosh, imagine if he kills himself and then the heart shows up right after. No way. No way. Oh my gosh, are they here? Does that mean they're here? It's happening. It's happening. That seemed unsanitary. Like, the blood splashed in his face. She's 26 years old. Liver, oh my gosh, she's literally my age and my height. Lungs are okay. Heart. 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 Be positive. Be positive. This is this is his heart. This is his heart. This is my. Uh, oh no. My will. Oh my gosh. Says I'm leaving my heart to my son. But still, like I feel like he's gonna get her heart. But the fact that he's willing to do this. One thing will stop me. What's that? If Mitch is B positive. No, no, no. Oh, no. no. Hey, Paul. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> well, they all kind of became friends in a weird way. Seeing the funny papers. This can't happen. Like, no freaking way. Oh, he just loved you so much. He did so much for you. Every, literally everything he could possibly do to try, you know, to try to save you. He did it. Oh, my God. Did you me Is he going to say yes? Oh. Yeah, we got you. I guess you got a guardian angel. Like, just try to stay awake just, just for a minute, okay? I just need to tell you a few things. You always listen to your Like the last things he's saying to him, like the. <sighs> it does. You treat them like princesses. That's what they are. Oh my goodness. It's so sad. When you say you're gonna do something. Oh. Like he always said, like all. Oh. When you say you're gonna do something, you do it. Oh my gosh. Because your word is your bond, son. That's all you have. <laughs> and money, hey, you you make money. You get a chance. Even if you're gonna sell out. The money. Stupid like <laughs> Everything is so much easier with money. So don't smoke. Be kind to people. If somebody chooses you. You know, we talked about this. You stand up, you be a man. You stay away from the bad things. There's so many great things out there. I'll never leave you. Oh my gosh, because he thinks he's gonna have, like his heart for him. Though. Like it can't happen. They're, like why show the other heart? You know. Oh, this is gonna be the call. This is gonna be the call. The facts. 
<gasps> a possible match. <laughs> oh, so she did put his name on the list. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Run, dude, run. I mean, you already are, but yes. Okay, let's do it. No, no, don't do it. Don't freaking, oh no. No, not yet, no. No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You tell me that that gun was It was empty. empty. He had one bullet. Yeah, we'll oh my god. The only one ever considered killing was me. Oh. I don't want him to die. I just want him to live. His son to get the heart. What? Get a match. Be positive, Michael William Archibald, the only status one in the whole country. I mean, he said he was waiting for a miracle. And here we go. Don't freaking do it. No, no, no. Just like to hold off a little longer. Oh my gosh. It would be so tragic. It would be so tragic. We have some very good news for you. No. 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 Oh my gosh, the safety was freaking on! He's gonna be here in 15 minutes. You do the honors, okay? Okay. John? Please say to... <gasps> As he had the gun to his head, and like, if the safety wouldn't have been on... John? John? Like, I just can't even... Approaching cautiously now. And they've got him. They've subdued John Q. That... That's not him, is it? It's to be over. It's all over. If pictures speak a thousand... That... I don't think that was him. Like, they didn't even show him show him. Exclusive moment-to-moment -moment live coverage of crisis at Hope Memorial. What happened to him? That's not him. Oh, it was the other guy. They let him stay with his son. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm so glad he lived. Oh, you know, he was a real one for that. Going out there for him like that. But they're gonna figure out that wasn't him. Wow. He wanted to be the first son. That's what this was all about the whole time. Oh. That's a mops. Oh, here they are meeting face to face. Put this out. You do that. Take your time. Yeah, but I mean, he was gonna accept whatever came his way. He just only cared about his son. Wow. That's it. Done. Done. Yeah, he got him the heart. He did what he said he was gonna do. One, two, three. Wow. Oh. Oh. Oh my, I feel like I'm crying so much in this movie. Like, what the heck? Ah! For kidnapping and okay, so this is his trial. HMO denied coverage for his son's heart. But he has supporters. As the jury reached a verdict. As to count one, attempted murder, we find the defendant, John Quincy Archibald, not guilty. Not guilty? I mean, he, the only person he attempted murder on was himself. Armed criminal action, not guilty. 
Oh, not guilty. On the final count, is he gonna be not guilty? Kidnapping and false imprisonment of Julie Bird, Max Conlon. And they're Rosa all here Gonzalez. supporting him. Find the defendant guilty. <gasps> oh, guilty. Any more than three five, so I'll try and get it down to two. Oh. I mean, like two years? Two to five years, like five years max? I feel like, you know, that's not that bad. That's not bad, right? Like, it, it could have been worse. Oh. But you know what? At the end of the day, what was important is your son's alive. I'm so proud of you. But I think he was, you know, accepting the punishment for what he did. Like, he, he knew, you know? Goodbye. Oh, but it's see you later, right? That was a really good movie. Dang. Thank you. Oh, we told him thank you. All that was for you. Wow. For Sasha. Oh. Wow, that was a great movie. That was so good. I definitely didn't expect this movie to be this emotional and I didn't expect this type of storyline, but it was good. I really liked this movie. I feel like I say that about every Denzel Washington movie, but wow. This one just really hit you in the feels and it made you sympathize with him so much that it's like you didn't feel like what he was doing was wrong, even though, yeah, I mean, legally, technically it was. He had no other options and he was desperate and he... He literally was at the point where he was going to kill himself so his son could have a heart. I feel like he didn't really care about the repercussions anymore. You know, he probably knew he would face prison time if he were to be sentenced. But honestly, I don't think he went in there thinking that he was going to make it out of there. You know, like that was his... He said I was waiting for a miracle and then eventually he did get one. But he was also willing to take it into his own hands too and wow there was a lot of layers to this movie too like different aspects of it i think i talked about it during it but different people were complacent in their jobs too and just like from not just in the hospital like the like the police chief and then also i don't know if complacency is the right word but it just you could just tell how there was a couple people who actually really cared about what they were doing like some of the nurses there and then some other people who are just kind of more interested in their careers or just like oh we can't do that or even like the the administrative lady which at first she was like oh can't do it there's tons of people all the time who are like this but then it's like finally once she saw him talking to his son she saw the footage she finally had a change of heart and Denzel Washington he just wow like <laughs> every time I'm like he's such a great actor it's just so crazy and then every time I see another Denzel Washington movie I'm like wow He's just, he's such a good actor. Just the way he conveys emotion, it just makes you feel what he's feeling. Sometimes without even saying anything. But like, you know, seeing him talk to his son at the end there and crying and just, ah, oh, the way he's just able to portray the emotions. He's just incredible. I also feel like I cried pretty much throughout almost the entire movie. I don't, I, like I at least was like teary. That was just, it was just so emotional the whole way through. Wow. <laughs> I just, I feel like I'm slightly in shock, but also I just, wow is just the best word to describe that movie. It was just an emotional roller coaster. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.